Welcome to Qigong with Maria. Today's routine is known as slow flowing yin. This is a beautiful routine which will have you moving slowly and with intention. This is a very mindful and slow practice which will help you build the yin aspect of your spleen, your liver, and your kidneys. The slow movements will gently encourage your mind and your body to slow down, to nourish and strengthen your yin energy by relaxing your body, quieting your mind. As you're doing the practice, allow yourself to be present within the body, align your intentions with what you're doing. If you want to relax, if you would rather rejuvenate or energize, whatever it may be, keep that intention mindful throughout the entire practice. Begin in the ready position and take some long, slow, smooth, deep, and continuous breaths. Find your body in alignment head over heart, heart over hips. Focus on quieting your mind, slowing down your breathing, and relaxing. Take a stance that feels comfortable to you. We're going to start by pulling down the heavens one arm at a time, very slowly and very presently. Breathe where it feels natural as you extend your awareness all the way through your palms and your fingertips. As you inhale, bring one arm up and down. Relax your shoulder, relax your arm as you come down the center. Let's do the same thing now with the other side. Very slowly, nice and present. Breathe where it feels natural, breathing in and out, either through your nose or in through your nose and out through your mouth, whatever feels natural to you. Just try to slow it down. Just working on building up the yin aspects of our body, which will help your spleen your liver, and your kidneys. Try to breathe in freshness, warmth, and healing. Soften the entire body as you exhale and release any tension, tightness, stress or pain. Once again, extend your awareness out through your arm to your palm and to your fingertips and beyond. Keeping your body in alignment lining up your meridian lines to create flow of yin energy. Extend a little wider, but use as little force as necessary as you once again bring your arm up overhead and pull it down. Notice that sometimes your body wants to hurry up, speed up. Try to release that feeling. Slow down. Let your breath move you. Feel connected to the earth through your feet. Embrace all the energy that is available to you.
This time, allow your gaze to follow your arm. Feel that energy and chi extending all the way out through your fingertips. Focus on pulling that energy downward, inward. Keep your mind connected to your movements, your eyes. Follow your hands. Feel the warmth of the chi, the energy, the pressure accumulating, extending out to the horizons and the heavens and then being pulled down within you. One more, this time with both arms. Feeling balanced and calm and peaceful. Come back to center as you gently pull in your legs and get ready for our next movement where we push the pestle forwards. Bring your hands together up to your chest and then press out forwards. Hold with pressure, keeping yourself relaxed while you do this, yet holding with some amount of pressure. Breathe, bringing those hands in to center and back down. Relax. Relax your head. Relax your arms. Relax your shoulders. Once again, we pull up the Ren Meridian line. Feel the stretch between your shoulder blades and your neck as you push forward with some amount of pressure. Yet, relax. Once again, pull the hands in, soften the body, soften the shoulders, feel the warmth rushing through your body as you release. One more time, last one, let's push through the wrists, extend the head upwards, the arms forward, breathe naturally, try to breathe deeply. Extending the arms, pulling in. Let yourself sink down as you release. Feel your head extended up to the heavens through your byway point, your feet making that energetic connection to Mother Earth. Breathe and relax. Come back to the ready position as we push the pestle sideways. Breathing in, draw the hands up and push your fingers out, extending out to the horizons through your biceps, your elbows, your fingertips. Relax and bring them in and down, relaxing your arms and your shoulders. Once again, we pull up and extend back out to the horizons. Breathe where it feels natural, feeling tension in your muscles, releasing any pressure and stress as you relax down. Last one, inhale up and pushing outwards to the horizons. Stretching, yet relaxing your shoulders. Be aware of the energy extending through your arms, out to your fingertips, and beyond. Pull the arms in and down, relaxing. Back to center. Roll the shoulders one at a time, releasing any tension that you might still be holding in your bodies. Breathe as you do this. We go into our next exercise. Golden Rooster stands on one leg, which is a balance exercise. Push the earth with the center of your palms as you extend 
your stance into a little wider stance. Sweep one leg in with its arm coming inward. Also try to balance and relax, stay grounded and centered as you bring one leg up and the same side arm up. Push your toes down towards the ground. You may even lower your toes if you would like, but find that place of being centered and grounded and balanced. Bring it down. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Bring your knee up, bring your foot up if you're able to do so. Find your balance point. Feel elegant and stable and grounded. Find that still point in your body and your mind. Find your place of balance. Slowly release yourself back down to the ground. Feel that balance now that you're back with two feet on ground. Notice how stable and grounded you feel. Let's repeat the other side. Sweep the leg and arm up. Push the opposite hand down towards the ground for stability. Find this place of balance, feeling stable and strong and peaceful. If you need to put your toe down to the ground, that's fine. Just try to keep everything under control. Breathe naturally and slowly settle your leg down and feel grounded once again. Other side, come in and upward. Open your hands. Feel that you are accumulating all the warm energy around you through your palms, coming in through the center of your chest and down to your belly. Feel stable and upright, grounded and balanced and centered. Let that feeling of stability sweep over your body as you stand and enjoy this feeling of stability as you take three deep breaths. Relax. Take a little bit of a wider stance. Bring one hand up to the level of the shoulder and the other underneath it. And just hold here for a moment, holding the ball. Feel stability, feel nice and grounded. Adjust your low back so you feel nice and stable. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Holding the ball over the opposite knee. Build up some core strength, stability in the lower body. Breathe naturally and deeply, feeling stable as you hold your ball and hold your position. Wonderful job, relax. Shake out your legs, shake out your arms. Maintain that feeling of presence within your body. Take a wider stance, lower the hips, lower your center of gravity. Hold a ball on one side of your body. One arm is up with the palm down, the other is palm face up. Shift your weight slightly, adjust your low back so you feel nice and stable while you hold your chi ball here. Take a big breath and start to very slowly shift to the other side as you push your upper hand down and bring your lower hand up. Hold this position now, holding your chi ball on the other side. Relax your shoulders as you hold in this position of stability. Relax your hips and slowly turn and shift to the other side. Hold the ball over the knee again, finding your stable point. One leg is straight, but don't lock it up. 
the other leg, you are bending at the knee. Take a nice big in-breath, shift to the other side. We're going slowly and with intention as we sweep one arm down and the other arm up. Find that stable point. We try to find the relationship here between stillness and motion. Maintaining our balance and our stability the whole time. Check in with your back, see how it's feeling. Hopefully it's feeling nice and strong. The hand that's underneath once again sweeps up, the top hand sweeps down. Feel grounded and stable. Move to the other side. Now try to continue this with more motion. Less stillness, more motion. Holding the ball, then sweeping the arms. Holding the ball, sweeping. Take your time. Let your chi flow smoothly. Feel that connection through your ankles, through your calves, through your knees, through your hips, through your back, shoulders, neck, and head. Moving the chi into that space in your body. from side to side as you shift your weight. Keep breathing. A couple more. Sink and sweep. Hold, sweep, and sink. Slowly come back to center. Gracefully bring your legs in and come back. To ready position where you take a few deep and natural breaths. Feeling the energy flow through your body. Embrace this moment of peace and stillness in a ready position. Place your hands in front of you, palms facing up towards the sky. Imagine you're holding two little si tiny suns in the palms of your hands and that the sun is glowing brightly and warmly and that you're holding vibrant healing energy. Take a big in breath. As you breathe out, bring that warmth into the center of your chest. Let that healing energy, that bright warm sun come to your lungs and your heart. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders and your neck. Breathe where it feels natural. Take a very big in-breath and breathe out, releasing the hands down to the sides. Find the glowing suns again as you breathe in. Invite the come, them to come join you in your hands. Feel the warmth and the heat accumulating in the center of your palms. What color is it for you? What color do you see it as? That warmth, that vibrant chi. Take a big in breath. Out, and this time come to your solar plexus area in between your chest and your abdomen. Let that warmth, vibrant energy, healing chi go to this area of your body. Warming up and healing your small intestine, your large intestine, the diaphragm. Feel the warmth, feel the healing reaching you on a very deep level. Take a great big in-breath, breathe out, and release the palms down. Once again, bring the warmth and 
and shoulders accumulating in your hands as you inhale up. Take natural breaths right here. Feel the palms illuminated once again. Take a great big in-breath and place your hands over your Dantian, letting that warmth and energy, that healing, go to your stomach, your digestion, your bladder, your kidneys, and anywhere else that it needs to go. This is where we store the chi for when we need it later, for energy, for restoration, and deep inner healing. Take a great big in breath, release the hands down. Breathing out. Let's go back to pulling down the heavens, this time coordinating the lower body, bringing in a great amount of fullness as you inhale and pull that all down as you exhale and sink down into soft knees. Take in the most cleansing breath you can possibly imagine Breathe out and release anything that's unnecessary and toxic in your body. Do three more. Great big cleansing breaths on the inhale and a wonderful release on every exhale. Slowly. Bring yourself back to your center, back to your body. Be here, be now, be well. Be healthy, be full of life and energy. You are all done. Take this restorative yin energy with you for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.